Hello everyone, the Tetralum guy, happy Farlar Friday, and welcome to system test number 34 with the Simple X 4004 Farlar control panel. So, anyway, let's get started. So, anyway, the panel, um, nothing's pretty much changed, you know. You know, I do have new battery cables on it, if you guys probably didn't notice that already, but, yeah. But other that, you know, this panel has not been changed or nothing's been swapped out or anything, so... Yeah, so, anyway, that's just a quick overview of the panel, and like I said, I'm not going to be explaining too much about the panel every time, so, yep, it's probably going to be the only time, or I'm going to probably only say this, so, yep, but yeah, anyway, that is a quick overview of the panel, let's go off the devices, so, over here for pull stations, I have the 299-9754, I replaced the 4251-20, or 21, whatever you want to call it, I got a lot of guys here in the second that pull station, so I just put the 299 up with the system. And then up here, I still have the Simplex 29193 from last test, only except I have swapped the stroke plate out. I swapped out the 4903-9105 with the 9101 stroke plate. Yep. So, that is, so anyway, that is the uh, first initiating and first notification appliance on the system. Up here, I still have the same smoke detector from last test, so this hasn't swapped out. And over here, I replaced—I actually replaced the 2999 with the um, AIP Edwards 270 SPO, whatever you want to call it. So, and then up here, I replaced the 4949137 Road Strobe with the Edwards Genesis Horn Strobe, and the strobe on this is set to 110 Candela. All right, so that was pretty much an overview of the initiating and notification appliances or or devices or whatever. So yeah, so as you can see, we only swapped the stroke plate out one. I'm this usually over by the door, like except I moved it over here now. So smoke detector has not swapped out, but those devices over there are swapped out. So yep. So now <clears throat> the cone option for this test is only gonna have to be continuous because. Um, there's a built-in delay, I know for, and that's just only for the ESG Genesis. There's this built-in delay before it starts sounding, so, and sadly, I don't know why, I'm not going to really, I could set this to continuous if I wanted to, but I'm not going to do that because I don't want to break part of the board and have to, have to suck continuous, so. This is going to have to only be doing code 3 for the system test, so. Yep. So only, so pretty much for the system test, the code option is only going to have to be continuous because, Obviously, that's a self-code alarm. This alarm can be coded to any code option you like. So, but all right, enough, enough that. Get that out of the way. Let's go ahead and do the fun part: the actual activation with the 299-9754. If you have epilepsy, do not watch this. Here we go. Damn, that thing is literally it like obliterates the ninety two nineteen for some reason, or something like that. <laughs> All right, and as you see, this is only doing audible silence. That's a two hour alarm, so that's not doing any audible silence. So, um, what should we do now? Um, I guess we'll just do the smoke detector. So, go to cause the smoke detector is on zone two. We're gonna re-alarm the system by activating the smoke detector. So here we go. Holy noise, man. Wow. I'll tell you what, the thing is ridiculously loud. 
I said that right there is like, that's like, like, you're like piercing loud. That thing's literally obliterating loud, to be honest. So, yeah. <laughs> All right. Um, fun fact if for the 4004, if you re if you already alarm zone one or zone two or whatever zone that the system was activated, you can actually re alarm the same zone. You can just by disactivating the same device again or just act by activating a different device. So, I figured that's, that's a fun fact for you guys. So, all right, anyway, here goes, pulling down to 70 SPO. <laughs> That is painfully loud. <laughs> yeah, I've heard louder, louder alarms, like louder system tests than this. Trust me. So, yeah. <laughs> All right. Set this pulse station now. Holy shit! <laughs> All right. Now we go ahead and do a system reset, and I'll pretty much wrap up for this video. Well, give this a few seconds. All right, so this has not been reset, so I guess that kind of pretty much wraps up for system test number 34. Yep, the smallest, no, the biggest fire alarm over here versus the smallest fire alarm. Yep, I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what, with these electromechanical horns, they don't mess around, they're urgent sounding, and I'll tell you what, these things obliterate any, can obliterate any electric horn or just some other, sometimes some other mechanical horns, I'll tell you what. Yep. So anyway, that was the 4903-9101 with the 29193 and the Edwards Genesis over there. Yeah. So, but yeah. So I think next test, it might, I might, I might have to do something different. It might be a little different next test. And yeah, as you can probably tell, in this alarm, I think we're gonna use this alarm next test. And you can see this is a Wheelock 3424WS. Yes, this is a four wire 7002. Which looks like a set, yeah, this looks like a set out too, but it's the four wire version, so. I bet a lot of you guys want to see this in action next test, so. Next test, I'll be putting this up, and I think I might put the system sensor SS24M strobe up next for next test, so. Yep, so stay tuned for that, and yeah, I know it's like got this cool bell right here, but. But yeah, so that pretty much wraps up for System Test 34. If you all really enjoyed this video, like this video, drop a comment down below, below and you know, subscribe to the channel, and hopefully I'll see you all next week for the next Fire Alarm Friday. So have a great day, everyone.